Hey everybody! Welcome back to the channel. I'm Heidi and today we are going to be doing a tutorial on how to draw an anime boy. So, let's get started. Alright, we're going to start with our art tools, which we're just going to use a basic pencil, so Make sure that it's good and sharp. Sharpen a little bit more. Now, once it's been sharpened all the way, I usually like to just press it down on the edge of the page just to get rid of that ugly extra little bit. There we go. So, this is usually what I like it to be like. You are also going to need an eraser, a wow. pencil eraser, or a small tipped eraser. It's preferable, but if you don't have that, a regular eraser works too. So, here we go. Uh, when I draw my anime boys, I like to start with the head shape. Just like that. If it's a little bit off, which mine usually is, that's fine. Just erase the line and draw again. That's why we don't want to be pressing too, too hard at first. And it's also why we need a bracer. Alright, next, pressing very lightly, we draw a cross across the face. Just like that. Mine's a little lopsided, but just fix that real quick. Alright, now we're gonna do the eyes. So you want the eyes to be just above the uh, horizontal line and just to the side of the vertical line. Okay, once you've drawn the top parts of the eyes, you can erase your cross. Okay, make sure you redraw any lines that might have been accidentally erased. Alright, next you want to draw the lower lines for the eyes. Um, this is just a very generic eye shape. You can do other shapes too, of course. Connect the two lines, like so. And then do like a shallow U, followed by a deeper U, and another shallow U on each one. And then in the top corner, draw a circle. These will be the catch lights. Do it on the same side of each eye. Uh, and then you want to color in the rest of the area black because this is the pupil as well as the top part of the eye is in shadows. Alright, now we're gonna just, just gonna add a little bit to this bottom line. And I think we're gonna make it a little bit sharp on top. It's a little bit like eyelashes, but whatever. Boys can have eyelashes. Next you do like just a pretty shallow triangle with missing the long side for the nose and the mouth is just a short line, tiny space, and then another short line which we curve upward. So now we've got the boy's face. Alright, next we're going to work on the hair. So there's not really a right or wrong way to do anime boy hair. Pretty much it's just a lot of lines. Definitely you want bangs. Don't make them all the same length. Some can be longer, some shorter. So we're just gonna do a bunch of zigzags for his bangs. Alright, now you want to erase the side lines of the face. Unless you want to give him uh, ears, which I don't usually do. Oh, can't forget the eyebrows. Uh, depending on how long the bangs are, you may want to do eyebrows behind the bangs or if they are Bit shorter then you just do them where they are all right and then we need the side bangs which is usually just a couple of pieces like so bring them up you don't want it to be too far and you bring them up just like that because they're not actually the main part so then round here behind the side bangs you get another one Bring it up and around. And then, of course, a little bit of hair in the back. 
I'm giving him some more hair here. Just, I don't know. Like I said, there's not really any right or wrong way to do anime boy hair. Um, just do whatever you feel like. Might want to give him some more detail. And there we go. We've got his face and his hair done. So next, we're going to work on the body. So start with the neck. You want it to be about a couple of centimeters away from the tip of the chin on each side. So then we move on to the shoulders. Uh, you can do like more muscular ones. I'm just doing pretty basic ones. Draw the lines out on an angle like so. Curve them down. Um, I tend to find it's easier if you do like a bunch of lines. Uh, you can always erase some of them after, but just a bunch of like uh, lightly drawn lines makes it easier to uh, get the shape right. Okay, and then draw the little lines up in here for the armpits. And then you're gonna. Now is the time when you kind of have to choose what clothes they're going to be wearing, so I'm just going to do very basic t-shirt for this guy, which you guys can like give your characters whatever clothes you want, be creative, but for now we're just going to go with a basic t-shirt, so when you're doing a t-shirt you got to make sure that unless they're wearing like a skin tight t-shirt, the uh, sleeve has to go past the arm and then you want to like curve it in just show that it's going around there uh, bring this in a little bit uh, Once again, it is fine to erase. I do it all the time. There we go. Alright, so now we're going to give him the rest of his body shape. Um, I think we're actually going to go with a bit of a looser look. This t-shirt. And then he's got his pants, which are going to be like so. I'm going to give him a bit of a, a bit of a switch, I think. Like I said, guys, learning experience for all of us. So then we want to do like a fairly faint line here. And then, um, so we're just going to give it like a little bobble through the ties of this sweatshirt. No, it doesn't look too bad. Um, give it maybe a little bit of I think he looks pretty cute. Um, I mean, if that's what you're going for. <laughs> if not, well, this might not be the video for you. Extra details in the yeah. And now we draw his hands, which is. Um, 
yeah, not easy. Um, okay, so when you're doing the hand, it can help to look at your own hand, honestly. So we're gonna draw, this would be the first part leading up to the thumb. And then we're gonna draw the thumb. Uh, if you don't like doing hands, you can always just draw them with their hands behind their head or behind their back or <sighs> things like that. Okay, so Um, so yeah, once you've done that, you can uh, erase any excess lines you might have, redraw some of them, things like that. There you have the anime boy. Now I just need to sign it. Never signed my art. There. That's my art signature. I hope you guys liked this tutorial and I hope it was helpful for you and if you did please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to some more videos and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!